Somewhere in this collection of AV gear that I call a house, I have a quality Bluetooth receiver, but I can't find it. So I ordered pretty much the lowest cost Bluetooth receiver I could find. Found this thing on eBay. It was $2.65 free shipping. Of course, depending on where you live, you will have to pay sales tax on that $2.65. But unless you order these bulk from China, this is going to be about as cheap as you can find a Bluetooth receiver. Well, I'm going to see how good or how bad this Bluetooth receiver is that's coming up on Thrifty AV. Before I open up this package, I want to say that this is not a free sample. I paid for this out of my Thrifty AV funds. Thank you patrons, your support helps with that. Let's get into this package. There's a little microphone input on here. Powers from micro USB. This is a very short micro USB cable. And it has a male to male uh, mini plug adapter. It does have a small built in battery. I'm going to go ahead and charge up that battery and it has a red indicator light when the battery is taking a charge. Looking at the specs, this is Bluetooth version 4.1. As I make this video, the current version is 5.2. It says it'll recharge the battery in 30 minutes and it'll play for four hours with a full charge. 10 meter Bluetooth range, up to 10 meters. Of course, things can lower the range. And the reason it has a microphone is it does do Bluetooth calling. You can uh, answer or use it with a phone. And when fully charged, the light turned blue. Okay, I'm powering up the Bluetooth device and I'm going to see what it says. It says Bluetooth music. I'm going to go ahead and pair that up. So now this device is paired with my phone here. Before I put music through this Bluetooth receiver, I want to check the left and right channel. So I have a file loaded here that will do that. I'm recording on my Tascam DR40 here. Before I listen to what got transferred over the Bluetooth device, let's hear what the file is supposed to sound like. Channel check. Left channel. Left channel. Right channel. Right channel. Now let's listen to what got recorded over the Bluetooth device. Left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel. So it appears that this Bluetooth device is taking a stereo signal and folding it down to mono. I'm going to verify with my headphones that it's doing that. Now I want to check out a frequency sweep. I'm not going to show the entire sweep of the source signal. It's clean, no weird overtones. It's good from the lowest frequency to the highest frequency. Listening to the recording from the Bluetooth device, there's some weird clicking going on at low frequencies. In this part of the band, some weird overtones started showing up. And on the extreme high end, even more weird sounding noises. But the true test of this Bluetooth device is how does it sound with music? So I'm going to be playing back a portion of Falling in Slow Motion by the Grateful Kings listed on the YouTube Music Library by RKVC. The source recording is an MP3 recorded at 320k BPS. Here is a portion of that song. Now let's listen to what I captured from the Bluetooth device. It'll be the same section of this song. Not only was the stereo signal folded down to mono, but there was a significant drop in the bass frequency response, which makes me think that there is a phase cancel issue going on. Now that could have been the cable I was using, but I wouldn't put it past this $2.65 Bluetooth receiver. Now the next thing I want to check is how does this work with a telephone? 
I just tapped on the microphone on the Bluetooth device to verify that it was the Bluetooth device mic and not my phone mic picking up my voice. So this is what the Bluetooth device sounds like as a telephone Bluetooth receiver slash transmitter. So that sounded pretty poor to me as well. This Bluetooth receiver is not capable of stereo. There were some weird overtones when recording through this Bluetooth device. I believe there was phase cancellation issues with it and used as a telephone device, it really didn't sound very good. So I cannot recommend this generic Bluetooth receiver. So I wasted my money so you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.